last year and I'm teaching people in metal shaping and um, this time we are outside my shop here in Pleasanton, California. And um, behind me here I have the big 32 roadster that we built in the step two classes. Actually in f the whole outer skin is made in five days uh, on the step two class by three students. And um, then I finished the rest and I have uh, the chassis for it, but I have a stock firewall and um, so I did the welding and everything, but the whole outer skin, we actually shaped that in, in the step two class. So that you see what can be done. And in front of me here, we have some, a smaller version of it. And that's where you can see how, what, what can be done there too. And what we, what we do, and you probably heard this before, is what, what you can do is we can cut, bend, shrink and stretch. That's those four elements we're dealing with. And when people understand what happens when we're using one or more of those four elements in a combination, we can con control a flat piece of sheet metal. So it doesn't matter if we're making it big or if we're making it small. It's up to you what you would like to do. So when I made this, this whole thing here, I also figured out how to make the frame rails. And you can see that we have this that 32B that goes on the, on the 32 original frame as well. And you can see that on the big car here and I have that on the small one so the way I made the frame rails you see it's open so I made two L's and uh, I bent that angle here 90 degrees in the bead roller and then I shrink and stretched it so it fits and then I made the other one with another L and then so I got a um, rectangular profile of the frame the front here you see it's at, like the I-beam there and I just used my imagination and I took some flat bars and I bent the first one inside here first. It's actually two thinner flat bars. So I got a little thicker because I didn't have the material in stock. So you take what you have and you make something and make it work. And then I had bended two flat bars on the outside and then I drilled hole and then I spot welded with a MIG welder. So that's how I came up with a I-beam and then I drilled the hole in the I-beam as well. So it's, it's pretty fun to, to do something and, and just use your imagination. And in, in your imagination, it's no limitations. You, you, can, you can think and do whatever you want. But then I had a little issue here with, to make the, the grill. And, uh, but it, so it took me a little while to figure it out how to make the, the, the grill insert here and also make the out, outer side, the shell. Uh, but it's, um, it's one piece here and then one piece to butt here and then it's an extra strip up to butt here and a top piece and a side on this one and then hammer and uh, TIG weld it hammer and dolly it and uh, uh, yeah get it to work and then when everything was done then I grinded this side in the back here to the hood so that was flat to the table and then I made a little step there in the bead roller so it's, it's pretty fun so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lift this up so you can see the frame. Here you can see how, how this works. So it's, it's pretty simple. And this is a cart that I can take to, with me to the swap meets. So you may be going to see me there. And I had it to the LA Roadster show and uh, at the swap meet there and at the show there. And people really like it. So here you can see the, the frame and then I welded uh, just a straight rod there for the axle there. So that can be a little more fine-tuned as well. Um, and you can go crazy with this. You can make hairpins in the front and you can make uh, ladder bars in the back. Or you can make all kinds of different things and you can make some small shocks that is fake but it looks like a shock because you take a small spring and then you, you make the stuff in the lathe and the little milling machine. So it's all kinds of stuff you can, you can do. But it, it's, it's really fun to, to make something like that. So, and then I also tubbed it a little because the wheel was sitting too far out. So I tubbed the frame in the back and then I extended the inner fenders in the back there. But it's stuff that, that can be done very quick in, in the English wheel bead roll and the shrink and stretch uh, uh, like the inner uh, fenders like that and the floor pieces. 
takes a little more time to, to do that outside and make it so it actually fits and, and makes the whole thing symmetrical so it's not twisted and so. It's, um, it takes a little more time to do that. But compared to a big car, it, it's much, much, much quicker. So the next step here is probably to, to make the hood and I'm thinking about to make some louvers on the hood to make a little small dive so I can make louvers and stamp that maybe in, in the arbor press or so or hydraulic press. But I'm also thinking about to get the running motor, a small heavy small block where maybe with a blower so I can start this up. If you would like to make something small or if you would like to make a bigger 33.3 Winter Coupe or 32 Roadster, big or small, it's up in your mind, it's up in your imagination what you, if you can imagine it, you can hold it in your hands. So let that be an advice for you that you, you can make anything you want actually from flat sheet metal. And that's what I'm teaching people to take control over a flat piece of sheet metal. And uh, the tools that we're using for making the small one or the big one or the big 32 Roadster or 41 wheelless coupe is actually we have this uh, five and a half inch deep shrinker and a stretcher and uh, you can change the jaws here. We have the small shrinker and a stretcher with foot stands so you have better control. And we have over here we have the English wheels. And um, that is amazing what you can do just with those three tools. But if you have the other one, if you have this bead roller also, then you can 100% control the flat piece of sheet metal and create anything you want. This bead roller has an adjustable shaft. So that makes sense when you're searching for different profiles you can have so many more profiles because you can uh, adjust the shaft uh, in and out and of course up and down as well. So with this uh, four tools and a uh, lots of dice for the bead roller, it's up in your mind what you can make. Thank you very much for watching our videos on YouTube and especially this uh, project with the small 32. And uh, we, we really appreciate that so many comments that people have about this small car. And we have lots of views on the small cars so and i think it's because it's it's some smaller stuff that people can handle it's not a big project to build a whole car and uh, you, you can really have fun to do something smaller and uh, it, it can go a little quicker too so we appreciate all the feedback we got from you people out there so thank you very much